All this week leading up to Friday, we're celebrating our 70th anniversary and we're revisiting some uh, favorite personalities. Mm -hmm. I sat down with Fred Anderson for a catch up and Fred shared a little secret about his classic segment, You Asked. Channel 11. Fred Anderton, it has been a while. Too long. Too long. Yeah. yeah. 2008 uh, is when you left the station. Right. It seems like yesterday. You walked through the door today, and I'm like, oh, Fred <laughs> still looks the same. Good well, to see you. Thank you very much. Great to see you. Good to see that. you. Yeah. So when I started here, you were a sports reporter. Right. Yeah. And you did that for quite a while. For 20 years. Um, actually, I started in news for six months, and one day I went out for coffee with Stan Keys and Dick Beddows and Dick told Stan that I was moving into the sports department on Monday and I went, oh, six months later I was in, uh, in uh, Dunedin covering the Blue Jays for spring training, which uh, I got to go there with Jerry Boylo, uh, the late, great Jerry Boylo. Fantastic uh, camera guy. Human being. Yes. Great human yep. being. So that was terrific and Dick, uh, he had this uh, persona of being a really tough guy. Um, he was demanding. You wanted to live up to him, you know, and what he expected, but he always had your back. And he was one of the nicest people you'd ever meet. He although was. that didn't come across on the air. But if you brought your kids into the station, Dick would get up from whatever he was doing, walk out of his office, uh, shake the kids' hands, show them around, and uh, just a really, really great guy. Mm -hmm. I forgot about your trips to Dunedin because that was like a yearly thing you would go and... For 20 years we went down there. Yeah, and, and your connections uh, with the Blue Jays, um, later on you started uh, a, a whole bunch of charity um, things. You had a charity golf tournament, right. you used to do a charity slow pitch tournament. Right. Yeah, and uh, it was really great. I mean, one year we had one, it was the Juan Guzman tournament. Another year it was the Robbie Alomar tournament. So the Blue Jays were really, really good along those lines. And, and we raised a lot of money, uh, first for the Kidney Foundation and then for Children's Hospital. We were raising like $50,000 a year. Mm -hmm. And so people would pay and everybody got a celebrity, right? So um, the community really supported it. It was a lot of fun and uh, the money went for a great cause. I, I always remember you as, as being such a nice guy in, when you were in the sports department and then when you, when you switched over to news, you did my favorite segment ever on CHCH News, which was You Ask, and so many viewers still mention You Ask, and, and even driving around the city, sometimes I'll think, oh, I'll have a question and I'll think, that would be a great You Ask question. So tell viewers yeah. who don't know yeah. uh, what that was all about. Well, I'm glad you asked, first of all. Um, so <laughs> I left that open for yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, it, was, it was great because uh, people would just, they would uh, call in or they would uh, email in and they'd, they'd see something like you see occasionally and, and want to know about it. And Jordan Harbor, the ship down in Jordan Harbor was the number one question. Uh, everybody wanted to know about that. So that was a great story story but we had a really good team we had Brian Henley in Hamilton we did it for eight years and until I retired and then um, uh, Sherman Zavitz in Niagara Falls we did that for four or five years with him down there it was every Tuesday night and uh, I learned so much uh, about the city and I'm like you I still see things I think hey you know what's the story behind that but um, uh, the first year we did it um, I thought, well, this will last a year, and then we'll run out of questions. Um, when I retired, I had 2,000 unanswered questions in my email. I had 600 phone calls that I apologize. <laughs> I, never, I never got to them, um, and it evolved. Like Mary, my wife, as you know, mm -hmm. um, had some really good ideas. Somebody would call in with a question, and she said, well, why don't you put their name on the, on the TV? People love that, so we did that. You were engagement. Yeah, exactly. And then the other thing that we did, um, she said, why don't you get people at the end to say, you asked. So I would say, uh, this is Fred Anderton, and I'm glad, and they would say, you asked. So we go to like a high school football game, and we get 50 kids in the stands, and they would all yell, you asked, and now they go home, and they tell their parents, hey, I'm going to be on CHCH tonight. And um, so that worked out really, really well. So I have to give credit. I don't, Mike Catrice really liked that. He was a news director at the time. Yeah. And, but I don't think I ever told him it was Mary's idea. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think I took credit for that, but okay. now now he knows. Now now everybody knows. You were like Google before there was Google, right, Fred? Okay, we have wrapped up our time, but I'm so glad you got a chance to come in, and it was so great to catch up with you in our new building. You know what? I, I was stunned when I walked in yeah. here, um, seeing some of the people that I had the privilege of working with before, uh, but also just the facility here. Um, it's it's really really nice. It's fantastic, and I and I appreciate uh, being part of this. And um, it's it's been a wonderful experience working here and and doing this. Okay, thanks very much. Okay, my pleasure. Channel 11.